Everybody say point. Point. Cross. Cross. Step. Step. And flip. Flip. All, right. All right, friends. Like I told you at the beginning of class, we're going to be working on our frisbee throwing today. We have four stations that we're going to be doing today. And before we get started, I just want to make sure that you know how to throw this frisbee. So please make sure you have your eyes on me so you will know what to do because I want to show you how to throw it in case you don't know. Before we start though, can anybody tell me how do I know what the top of the frisbee is and how do I know what the bottom of the frisbee is? What do you think, Brian? On the top is smooth. Oh, you are correct. The top is the nice flat part. It's nice and smooth. And the bottom is half. Yeah, the bottom has a nice little scoop in it. Okay, the scoop is for your fingers to hold on to. So everybody please repeat after me. The top is flat. Top is flat. The bottom is the scoop. When you hold the frisbee, your thumb goes on top and your fingers go on the bottom. Everybody say, thumb on top. Thumb on top. Fingers on the bottom. Fingers on the bottom. And then now, when you throw this frisbee, you need to remember a few cues that will help you learn how to throw it. But first, make sure you know how to hold it. Everybody show me with your hand, imaginary frisbee, how you're going to hold that frisbee. Thumb on top, fingers on the bottom. Let me see, let me see. All right, looking good, looking good. Cyrus, stand that blue line for me. Now, if Cyrus was my partner, I was throwing to him, I would have my thumb on top, my fingers on the bottom, and then you're going to point it, point the frisbee at him. I'm going to go across my body, and I'm going to take a step and lick my wrist to try to make the frisbee go to him. When you catch it, you can either catch it with your lobster claws like this, or you can catch it with your alligator snap. You ready, Cyrus? Everybody say point. Point. Cross. Cross. Step. See if Cyrus can do it. Whoa, nice throw, man. Point, cross, step, and flick. One more throw. Point, cross, step, and flick. Wow, that's an expert frisbee throw right there. Let's give him a thumbs up. Nice job. Okay, have a seat. Now, at each station today, you have uh, four different stations, and at each station, you have a green, yellow, and a red frisbee. Green is the easy. Yellow is the medium, and red is the hard. So you can choose what you want to do. Do you want to try an easy challenge? Or do you want to try a hard challenge? Or do you want to try a medium challenge? Uh, I didn't ask. I'm just asking you to think about it. I don't want you to tell me the answer. You're going to choose what you want to do. All right, guys. So for the stations, you just go around and do a quick uh, demonstration of each station or tell them how to do it. As you can see, the first one I've got is an individual target practice. So they're just working on trying to throw their frisbee into the goal. Three different levels of difficulty. Green is easy, yellow is medium, and red is hard. That's the same setup for every station. And then the next individual target practice is the pin knockdown. Um, obviously, if you don't have frisbee goals, if you don't have pins, you can use whatever you want. You can use any kind of target. You could use a tennis ball on a cone or um, anything you want. I just already had those out for another game, so that's what I was using. Um, I've got my pins set up on five gallon buckets, as you can see. Um, the other side of the gym is partner play. So the first partner play we have is just a simple partner toss. There's three different uh, distances that can do the easy, medium, or hard. You're trying to throw it to your partner and catch it on the spot. And if you want to specify how many in a row to complete the challenge, you can make it easier or harder. Um, since this is kindergarten, I just try to get them to, to make one successful catch, and we call that a completion. Uh, once again, they can choose where they want to go. Um, and then the next partner play is Can Jam or a modified version of Can Jam. Uh, you can look that up by Googling it if you're not sure how to play. The basic idea is you stand across from your partner, both of you are standing behind a bucket, and you try to throw it to them, and then they get a chance to jam it. As the frisbee goes over the bucket, they try to jam it into the bucket. So that's the four stations, and just quickly give a demonstration to the students so they know what to do at each one. Uh, obviously, there's tons of ways to modify uh, if you don't have different equipment. So uh, just be creative and have fun. Any questions about the stations? No! Does everybody understand what you're doing? Yes, yeah. sir! Okay, when the music stops, you're going to clean up. You're going to stand in your square, you're going to point to the next square. Blue goes to yellow, yellow goes to red, red goes to green, green goes to blue, just like we always do the same direction around the room. When I call your name, please head over to the yellow square, Rex, William, Matthew, Tate. 
Will I call your name? Please head over to the red square.